How you doing guys? I'm Enrique Ojeda and this is my 1987 Grand National with the 2016 Hellcat Swap. built this car because it was a dream of mine. It was something that was never supposed to happen, but it happened. I got this car in the middle of a field in Pennsylvania. It was full of mud, dust, snakes, anything you can imagine, it was in the car. It was rusted, it was, it was in bad shape. This car, I had the original V6 turbo in here. It was ready to go, new turbo, motor was gone over, everything was ready to go. And at the uh, last minute, I decided to uh, do something stupid and crazy. And that's when I found a crashed Hellcat drivetrain and I bought it and decided to do something that was never done one of one and drop it in this 87 Grand National. There was a lot of fabrication to, um, to get done to make this work. A lot of homework, a lot of research, um, a lot of scouring the interwebs to try to find out what fits with what. I wanted to keep the car mostly Grand National. And um, the original hood does fit. I kept the coolant reservoir bottle from the Grand National, the inner fenders, the radiator, uh, the hydro boost, a few more other little things. Everything else is from the Hellcat. The modifications I did, I. I have a custom-made throttle body by SDG, Jesse Cloth. I custom-made the motor mounts, um, the cross member, the trans mount, all custom-made, custom-made headers by uh, JW Fabrication in Seymour, Connecticut. Um, I have the EFI Source Gold Box Harness Standalone, the engine, com the computer. I have also Sound German Trans Control. That's what controls the trans to shift for the A8. And um, a lot of fab work went into here. It's uh, tubbed, roll bar, frame notch. Uh, so much stuff in here. I got Tesla brakes, Camaro SS rotors, Ford 9 rear. And um, it's been a hell of a project, but it's fun. And it's almost there. And if it wasn't for Mike at... Uh, sin garage and bhp tuning none of this would have happened he's the only guy right now to get this running and driving the right way and um big thanks to everybody and i hope you guys enjoy it out there and take a look have fun with it with me this is my efi source gold box this is what controls everything the engine management um with this box i do not need an electric electronic pedal um no red key nothing Right here is also the Hellcat shifter and the Sound German trans control. This is what shifts the car, lets it know it's a neutral. All right, here's the roll bar and the mini tub done by JW Fabrication in Seymour, Connecticut. All these beautiful welds. He did a great job. Trunk closes, the hinges hit. He actually custom made a spot where the hinges would sit down. And how much wider did you go? Um, wide enough to fit a 325 tire on there. Those came off of a BMW E46. Uh, those are Camaro SS rotors. And we have Tesla calipers on there. Also the frame notch, and you can see the inside of the tub. At the front, we have the same thing. We have the Wilwood six piston in front. Just extra clamping power. My plans for it is to, uh, I'm gonna finish up the interior. I'm gonna keep it all black with red stitching on the inside. Uh, what I'm using is, uh, they're called Digital Dash. Okay. And they came out with a uh, system similar to Holly. It's the 12.3 inch digital dash and everything is supposed to be plug and play with my EFI 
source gold box. Paint, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, this might piss some people off, but uh, I kind of want to go with the uh, Octane Red. Or I might stick with the all black, keep it a Grand National look. How you doing? I'm Mike, Mike Thomas over at Sing Garage. Uh, took on this Hellcat project. Uh, took over to do some tuning. Uh, fix a couple exhaust leaks. I needed a fluid leaks. You know, just some last minute things here and there. Uh, main job was to get the transmission to communicate uh, with the Gold Box Mega Sport system. Uh, we got the PCS trans module communicating properly with with the Mega Sport and. Hellcat engines working, communicating with the tranny. We got all gears, forward reverse, manual shifting. Everything's working properly. What do you have left? Left on the car. We have uh, an exhaust leak issue we're having where the flange of the header is not mating properly. So we're going to pull that header off. We're going to do some clearancing and reinstall it after that. Uh, a few leaks here and there. Um, one being a dipstick situation. Uh, it's like a custom dipstick going into the Hellcat motor. Just addressing those problems, uh, and then once the gauge cluster comes in, we're going to take over and get that all wired up and looking proper. The headers were made by uh, JW Racing Fabrication in Seymour, Connecticut, and um, full exhaust. We have MagnaFlow mufflers, uh, no cats, no resonators, nothing like that. Just straight out the back, three and a half inch exhaust, and it sounds like a monster. Let's hear it. out to uh, as many people as I can to show them that anything's possible you know you can do anything you know I built this car on my back in a two-car garage with no lift no special tools or nothing you know, I've never done a swap before as complicated as this mm. and anything is possible 